Hi everybody, this is Nathan Cool with Swellwatch on SurfingMagazine.com. Got a lot of questions uh, this past season. What's the deal with this blocking high pressure and what does this have to do with affecting surf for the California coast? So what I thought I'd do, if picture says a thousand words, I wanted to put together just a quick video to show you exactly what's going on. This is what's happening. This is a wave model of the Eastern Pacific, and in red we can see the size of the waves. There's a couple big storms that are formed. We can see one that's high in the Gulf of Alaska. We can see another one that's sitting south of the Aleutian chain that's coming out of the Western Pacific. As we move the models forward in time, we can see what happens. That storm, as it comes across the Pacific, it starts going northward into the Gulf of Alaska. So here we've got one that's very large. It's actually a system with about 35-foot seas. Another one coming in behind it, huge. That's got about 40-foot seas, but look how far to the north that goes. That's way away from Southern California, directing swell up toward Alaska instead of us. Taking a look at a pressure map, we can see why that is. Blue is high pressure. Notice how there's a lot of that, especially off of California, moving up into the Gulf of Alaska. Red, that's low pressure. That's associated with those same swell-making systems. That high pressure is rotating clockwise. It's guiding the jet stream up to the north. As we move these models forward in time, we can see how that's spinning clockwise. It's pushing those storms up high. Instead of allowing those storms to then get closer to our area to throw surf our way, instead, that high works as a blocking pattern and keeps pushing those systems up far to the north, affecting uh, our weather, which is very nice, keeping it nice and dry for us. There's a lot of high pressure around the area, keeping rain and winds away from our area as well. But with that jet stream very high to the north, we're, along with that nice weather, we're going to also have smaller surf. It does take, though, some large systems coming out of the western Pacific, and that's exactly what we're seeing here on the previous wave models. When we've got surf that's running 35 to 40 foot seas sitting underneath the Aleutians, we are going to get something out of that. It's just not going to be quite as big as if that jet stream had been lower and guiding more of that swell energy our way. An interesting thing in all of this is how it really relates to El Nino and La Nina. Right now we're in neither an El Nino or a La Nina state, but as we can see by the graphic here, it looks like we're in a La Nina when you consider that we've got strong high pressure sitting over the eastern part of the Pacific, guiding that polar jet stream up to the north, so it's quite indicative of what we would see right now if we were in a La Nina state. If we were in an El Nino state, it would just be the opposite. We would have low pressure sitting up in the Gulf of Alaska, and it would be bending that jet stream a lot lower, and that would guide storms more directly to our area. But for right now, it's very La Nina-esque, although we are in somewhat of a neutral state. So when it boils down to it, we are in somewhat of a normal season this year. So there you have it. We're in actually a neutral state. This is considered what would be normal for a California winter. Um, we're used to seeing a lot of El Ninos, and of course those bring a lot of big storms. Things are changing. We are getting into the end of January toward the February time period. We do tend to see bigger swells because of the jet stream lowering, but that blocking high pressure, well, that's also what keeps Southern California quite warm quite a bit. Uh, it is more indicative in a La Nina season, but anyways, either case, when I mention that blocking high pressure system, that's what I'm talking about, disturbing the jet stream, and of course affecting surf for the California coast. Hope this was informative. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep smiling in the lineup.